Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech. And today we're going to talk about how early configure applications can enhance plant quality. We are talking about a chemical approach to improving branching. And our goal is to improve the plant architecture while also giving us some growth regulation. So we're looking for a substitute for pinching that will enhance the branching, starting with our liners, starting with our cuttings. We know that pinching is labor intensive and it delays both the growth and the bloom of our plants. So we are looking for a chemical that will release apical dominance and give us an improvement in the number of branches on our liner. We are hoping that this improvement in the liner will also improve the quality of that finished plant. So Configure is a Fine America's product that is a benzyl adenine, which is a synthetic cytokinin, which it promotes cell division. It is used on Christmas cactus to promote vegetative branching if it's applied in the summer, or to increase flower bud count if it's applied in September. We also found it was very effective in improving branching of hosta and echinacea. But in subsequent studies found that it was also effective in a very wide variety of containerized ornamentals. We also found that multiple applications were typically better than a single application. Some of our early work included echinacea, and we found on a wide variety of cultivars that a single application of anywhere from 300 to 900 parts per million could double or even triple the number of basal branches on our echinacea. A lot of other perennials were also responsive, and some, such as this penstemon, although we didn't get a very large increase in the number of branches, we got a significant improvement in the pot fill with the configure application. In some crops, such as gara, we got very significant improvements. A single application would improve the number of shoots per pot, the number of branches on those shoots, and the number of flowers on those plants. So this plant, we had a significant improvement in the capacity of this plant to perform with the application of Configure. This is ideal. So what if we start with earlier applications? If we start early, can we get an improvement in the finished plant? So what I'm going to talk about today is some work done by Mara Grossman, one of our graduate students. And she worked with unrooted cuttings of a variety of herbaceous perennials. These were stuck in 72 size cells rooted under mist and bottom heat until the roots were visible on all four sides. At this time they were removed from the mist and we made our applications of configure. Mara worked with a wide variety of, of different crops and I'm not going to show you all of them but I will give you a resource where you can see some of the ones that I don't talk about. A couple of responsive crops Leucanthemum snowcap, we made applications of one application of 300 parts per million configure, two applications of 300, or a single application of 600 parts per million. All of our treated liners had an increase in the number of branches, but we had a slight decrease in the root dry weight. However, that root dry weight difference did not affect the grow out or the quality of those finished plants. However, we also did not have a persistent increase in the number of branches on our finished plants. We tested liners of Gara Siskiyou Pink, and we found, as we expected, an increase in the number of branches and leaders on the liners with all of the treatments, and that persisted in the finished plants, giving us a, a significant increase in the number of branches and the number of leaders with any of our configure applications. Agastache was another one where the liners were very responsive, an increase in branching, again a slight decrease in root dry weight, but as you can see there was no difference in the finished plants, again no persistence of that improved branching, but the root dry weight reduction did not affect the grow out of those plants. Veronica Goodness Grows is another one where the configure improved the branching of our liners. And notice how this improvement in the number of branches is low in the crop. So even if we wanted to come back and trim these liners off before shipment, we would maintain that improvement in those branches. However, this crop did not have a persistent improvement in branching in the finished plants. 
Flux Bright Eyes was also interesting because we actually had a significant improvement in the number of branches at two weeks after the application, which is pretty quick. In this study, we made the application in the liner stage at only at 600 parts per million. Then we made a second application after transplant. And this gave us a significant improvement in the number of branches in the finished plants. However, we did have a slight delay in the flowering with our two applications of Configure. So if we look at Sedum Autumn Joy, Configure application in the liner stage gave us six times the number of branches on our finished liners. However, if we planted those out without an additional application of Configure, there was no difference in the number of branches in the final plants. But if we made a second application five days after transplanting, our finished plants had two and a half times the number of branches as our control plants, our untreated control plants. So two applications on a lot of these crops can significantly increase the branching of our finished plants, making the first application in the liner stage and the second one after transplanting. I do need to point out that a couple of our crops showed significant phytotoxicity, the worst being aster. And we've worked with several cultivars of aster since this study, and we found significant tip burn with all of the aster cultivars we've tried. We found some distortion of leaves in cosmos that persisted in the finished plants, and you may have heard us talk about Gallardia. Gallardia is very responsive to configure in terms of the number of branches, but it also causes an excessive delay in flowering. So we're not recommending configure on these crops. So in summary, configure stimulates, but it does not cause branching or flowering. So you have to look for those windows of opportunity to make those applications when the plant is actively growing and you have lateral buds available for growing out. Also it has a very short period of activity, about two weeks, 10 days to two weeks. So you do want to make multiple applications. Make sure you keep a two week minimum interval to minimize any possibilities of phytotoxicity. Also be aware that this chemical, benzoadenine, is not actively transported throughout the plant. So you need to have really good spray coverage in order to get good response all over your plant. For liners in particular, we found that Configure generally does improve branching during liner production, may not persist to the finished plant, but it significantly improves the liner. We are typically applying it after rooting as soon as the plants come off of mist, but where we have seen effects on root growth in the liner stage, it has not caused an issue with the grow out of those plants. If you are purchasing your liners, apply that configure as soon as you can after arrival. Make sure your plants are actively growing, that they are healthy, and that they have a minimum amount of leaf area and stem and lateral buds to effectively respond to your Configure treatment. Remember that Configure has a short-term activity in most crops and therefore there is a value to making a second or even a third application in a long-term crop. So make that second one shortly after you transplant the liners into the finished containers. And again, we have photos of additional crops on our website. So I'd like to thank Fine Americas for bringing Configure to the market because Configure does enhance plant quality. It's an excellent tool in our toolbox. And thanks to the eGrow Network for continuing to promote our work. Have a great day.